did you see the frame rates in Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Now, hold on before you rip me in the comments. I know it's nothing to write home about in terms of the best frame rates ever, but consider this. Remember, we don't have a GPU. Now, as you saw there, guys, I took out the memory that originally I benchmarked the system with being Corsair 3000 megahertz cast latency 15 memory and threw in some 3600 G skill dims at cast latency 16. I can tell you this right now. I was not expecting the amount of return in performance that we saw here and I'm just utterly astounded. The reason I bring up Modern Warfare was, well, it honestly was teetering on the point of being basically not playable even with the overclock on the old memory setup. But now with the memory that we have in it now, it's playable. You can have a good experience and I did. I played a game like solid 30 minutes, got a few kills. I'm not very good at the game. I used to play a lot more than I do now, but completely smooth, no stuttering, albeit we're playing on low settings, but it's doable. It's something that if you're in a pinch or can't find a GPU like all of us, you can actually put a system together like this for in and about six to $700 and have everything you need to get off to the races plane. Or if you're after just pure, just simple esports gaming, well, you're gonna have a great time because this system just absolutely blows those titles away. So moral of the story here is, as maybe a lot of you and I have heard in the past, and really, I knew it was true, but with Ryzen, memory speed matters big time. So if you're after an APU like this and you're using it as a place filler type system build like you can certainly do here as you see here, I'll have links for everything that you see here in the description below that you can follow to build this. But the good thing here and the takeaway being is you know that you've got a system that you can build that you can go basically play any of the games, even the hard to play ones now with the right memory setup, and it be a placeholder for you in the future for when the GPU market hopefully returns to normal, whenever that may be. I feel like I keep pounding that idea into everybody's heads here, but this channel is about budget building and budget gameplay, and to be flat honest, GPUs are not in the budget right now. But anywho guys, I hope you found all the series of APU videos informative and entertaining in the least. I think I've kind of basically beat it to death at this point, so I'm gonna kind of get off the topic for a bit. However though, if you're interested in seeing some of the other APU driven content that I put out, make sure you check in the description below. I'll have links for all the other previous videos that we did or we'll have some cards here at the end of the video. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like on the way out. Get subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. Thanks for tuning into this one though. I appreciate your time and I'll catch you in the next one.